What did you hear in these stories that touched you, moved you, inspired you, or resonated with you? I got a lot of, um, uh, what word do I want to use? I'll just make it plain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. No, 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 no. No, for me, <laughs> um, I realized you know, and hearing other people's stories and stuff, that um, I'm not alone, you know? And um, it's okay, you know, to go through, you know, and the struggle and know that uh, you're not the only one, you know, to have things going on within self, you know, issues and stuff and whatnot. And um, always had, you know, like somebody, you you know, to lean on or to go to and this thing and that thing. But sometimes, it, you know, it tends to be hard, you know, to call on someone and stuff and whatnot, you know, because you're supposed to be that strong person and stuff. But I learned, you know, just listening to other people's stories and just living my life itself and being there for other people. It's okay sometimes to be weak. <laughs> So many different things. I've had the opportunity to at least speak to at least seven people that's in this circle right now from today and then from last week. Mm -hmm. And when I sit back, all I see is fighters. I see fighters. I hear the fight in the determination and where it is and it don't stop here. And that's what's the most important part it is, is to remember that it don't stop here. Right. And as long as you continue your fight, there is victory at the end. Hey, man. <laughs> so the whole goal of Racial Healing Circle, from my point of view and perspective, is to start at the very bottom and build the foundation of humanity up as a collective understanding where all of us need each other and each other. I guess I can share. I just, I just love coming here. Yes, I love the process of healing. <laughs> because that's what it's all about. Giving, receiving, sharing. Just keep it moving. All for one, all for one, and one for all.